Um, I have a, a O2 Ford Explorer here that was brought in. The customer brought it from uh, an auction. Okay. Now, here's what I want to tell people when a vehicle is brought from an auction. Most of the time, it's taken to the auction because there is a problem. Okay. Very seldom you're going to be able to drive a car directly from the auction and you have no problems. You know, even some of the, what they have um, lines like uh, red light, yellow light, green light, even in the green light, you have some issues sometimes. <laughs> but what I want to show you is this. Uh, when I took this vehicle, what he complained first of all was that it had a delay in engagement, in reverse and in forward, which it does. So he figured the fluid was the issue. We checked the fluid, but um, uh, I test drove it and it it ran away. In other words, neutral. It slipped in third gear and fourth gear, and it did it all the time. That's on a test drive. When you put it in reverse, it may delay for three seconds before it actually engaged it thumped into reversed okay now the vehicle did have 200,000 miles on it but here's what I want you to see um, the check engine light was on and it was on because of the P0430 which was catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank 2 okay so again this was uh, a 2002 Ford Explorer 4.6 liter but this is not the the catalyst efficiency code is not what I want you to pay attention to what I want you to pay attention to is this code which is the P1000 and this is something that if you're going to an auction or if somebody's trying to sell you a vehicle that you need to look at now this code here doesn't normally turn on the check engine light but look what it, it what it is. It's an inspection of all systems has not been completed since last memory clear. Okay, when you see this code, if you go into an auction or you're buying a car, if you have a little scanner or something that will show you this, what this is telling you is somebody cleared those codes. If they cleared those codes, they may not have wanted you to see what was showing. Now, by this transmission acting the way it was, I'm guessing that when they took it to the auction, they cleared the transmission codes um, before they set it into the auction. However, the computer lets you know that something has been cleared. The computer does a check. If you clear something, it's going to check to see if the problem was fixed. But what it's saying here is it hasn't done its check yet to see if whatever you cleared, if the problem was fixed. That's basically what that code means. They say uh, monitors, which is still you could say the computer. The computer, every time you clear a code, the computer is going to run a check to see if you fixed the problem. If you didn't fix the problem and just turned off the check engine light, then that computer, once it goes through its check, will turn that light back on. Okay? So again, this code here will let you know if someone has done that. And so, um, like I said, it probably had transmission codes because it's slipping. should have gear ratio codes, everything. So I want you to know that about that. So again, you, you're trying to find a car. If you got a little scanner, look for a code like this. This will let you know that something was hidden. They turned the light out, but yet the computer still show you that the light was turned out. So now you can question whether or not there's something there that they didn't want you to see or the, the one who's selling you it didn't want you to see be wary of that 